Good morning everyone. If you're new here, I'm Mariah. I'm a culinary student and pastry chef and today is a very exciting video that I have been waiting so long to finally film. I have three weeks left until I finish this year of culinary school, which is the undergraduate or higher national diploma in culinary arts. For our last three weeks of pastry class, we are going to be learning how to make style and decorate a wedding cake from start to finish and i'll be taking you guys with me to watch the entire process i cannot wait i did have some inspiration in mind but it wasn't targeting the skills we were going to be practicing so i'm gonna just stick to what our lecture is going to give us because i want to practice the skills rather than moving on my own pace because what i had in mind was something like this like these victorian styled piped cakes but I already kind of know how to do that and that's not going to be part of the syllabus even though we could do that if we wanted but we're mostly going to be focusing on covering the cakes with the fondant and then creating like sugar paste flowers so initially this is what I had in mind I made this a few weeks ago as you can see we have this like Victorian style piping so yeah we are all set for our first wedding cake class and now let's go so starting off with our first wedding cake class we start off by taking a look at our inspiration and discussing with our lecturer a little bit about what we wanted but since this class was going to be focusing more on traditional wedding cake techniques we decided to do something much different than what we originally had planned. We are going to be using styrofoam cake dummies for our cakes. We will not be using actual cake. Here is our lecture giving us a demonstration on how to properly cover the cake dummies with marzipan before moving on with fondant. Once the demonstration was done, it was time for us to try it out. We stuck in some wooden skewers through all of the dummies to keep them still and so they wouldn't slide around. Then we started opening up the marzipan. Once we got it to the desired length and thickness, we covered the cake. We gave it a quick coating with some jam before because that's what we had on hand and we just wanted it to stick to it basically. After covering it with marzipan, we really got in there with the smoother and just beat the hell out of it. It's because then once we lay the fondant over it, it's gonna amplify those imperfections. We had our lecturer help us out because I haven't done cakes in a long time, okay? And this made me realize why I don't do cakes anymore, especially with fondant, because it takes a lot of time, a lot of work, and a lot of fondant. Once we managed to get that nice and covered, we fixed any imperfections. It started to rip a bit from the side because it was so tall and the fondant was so heavy, but we managed to fix that. And then our first tier was done. Then we moved on to creating the flowers, which was my favorite part of today's session. So to make our edible flowers for our cake, we are using this thing called daisy paste. Daisy paste is this really hard type of fondant. It's so hard, almost like a brick, and you need to really work it in and knead the shit out of it in order for it to become pliable. And once you knead it in, it becomes so soft and stretchy and elastic -y. And you can sort of create a really, really thin flower without having it rip, which is why I like this so much. It's so durable. It's literally kind of like rubber at this point. We roll it out super, super thin and then cut out the petals using just a standard cutter. We took a foam board, a dense foam board and a cake decorating ball tool and we just really started to pull out towards the edge of the petal, the outer edge, just to thin it out and create that natural ruffled petal look, which gives it that, you know, realistic feel to it. So we just literally, it was so satisfying. All we did was just rub the edge until it thinned out and it was great. It did not rip, it was super easy. It was a little bit tiring at some point because we had to make so many of these, but we didn't have any problems with this at all. Then it was time to stick the flower petals on. We created a little flower bud by taking a ball of the daisy paste, which we rolled into a teardrop shape, and we stuck on this metal wire specifically used for these sort of flowers. And then using some water and edible glue, we started to 
lay the petals on top of each other and overlap them ever so slightly in layers so for the first layer we just stuck two petals one on each side and then for the second layer we stuck about three and then the third layer we stuck about five petals and we just kept repeating this process we did various types and sizes of flowers we opened up the petals so it looked like some flowers were blooming while some flowers were still really small and haven't fully bloomed yet to create a more realistic look also with each layer of petals we stuck onto the flower we added a teensy bit more coloring so it sort of creates an ombre effect you know the more it blooms the darker the color would get then we just set them aside to dry and we started working on our leaves the leaves were very straightforward we just took a little cutter and then we folded them over this wire we colored them a nice little tan brown shade because we are going to paint these in an edible bronze paint next week and we set those aside to dry and that is what we did today we actually had a very long session about six hours and our next session is also going to be somewhere around that time and that is what we got done today hi guys we are back we are finally done from our first wedding cake session we actually had a double lesson today so it was six hours instead of the usual four and it's gonna be the same next week so we're gonna finish it all in two weeks rather than three and i'll see you then good morning you guys i am getting ready for our second wedding cake class i actually went to buy a few things before this so let me show you what i got here is what i got starting off with the cake dummies i got two six inch by i think it's four inch cake dummies also got some ribbon to just cover the edge of the cake board then something i'm most excited for I got rock candy. I got all of these overpriced sticks of rock candy. So I got a ton of them in clear. Since the wedding cake is white, and I would be able to maybe paint over them if I wanted to. I got some in black because it looked really cool. And the reason I got these is to make a da da da, -da a geode cake. I'm also going to be getting some things that I don't think we might have in class. I have some luster dust spray, which I think would be great over the raw candy itself, as well as the flowers. Some gold leaf, some gold paint, some black food coloring. We're just gonna see how it goes, take it one step at a time. I'm really excited to be filming this and showing it to you guys. So yeah, with that being said, let's go to culinary school. So for our second wedding cake class session we started off by covering our second cake tier which we decided to add on last minute and we went ahead and repeated the same process we had done with the first tier and we did that with the second tier here's how our flowers are doing they have dried amazingly they're nice and hard now and i went ahead and i took some yellow powder food coloring and i just gently dusted the center of the flower where the bud would be and look how cute that turned out i could have done it with a lighter hand but it was still pretty nice i then colored some of this daisy paste the same one we used for the flowers i colored that a very light shade of green and i took this flower petal cutter and i cut various sizes out and this is going to be for the base of the flower so i stuck that through the wire underneath the flower and just stuck that on and that is going to be the completed look for the flower and now it is time for the part i have been looking forward to the most which was also the most challenging part here's my rock candy i took it up and i broke it up into small pieces and then i carved some gashes out from the cake i carved out a little chunk from the top tier from the left side and then from the bottom tier right side and then me and Miguel start to stick on the rock candy we had covered the cuts with some royal icing so that it would stick better and after sticking them on we dusted it with some food coloring in the center because we ran out of black rock candy just to create more of an ombre effect and we painted the outer edge with some gold paint 
and all in all it just ended up looking like a coochie. Once my coochie cake was complete, our lecturer was giving us a demonstration on how we are going to arrange the flower bouquet using some metal wire and some floral tape. We basically intertwined the wire of the leaves and the flowers around the main wire and then we covered the entire thing with the floral tape. And then once we had these clusters of flowers, we formed it into a nice little bouquet, which we then stuck into the cake with some reinforcement, aka more wires, just securing them into the cake, and it looked amazing. And are you guys ready for the final result? Approximately 12 hours later. But yeah, that is the final result of our wedding cake. You guys, we are finally done with our wedding cake sculpture as you just saw. I am so happy with how it turned out. Luckily, we do not have to come in tomorrow because we finished it all today. And with that being said, this is actually our last pastry class of the year before we end it off for summer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you are interested, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.